uh, on this momentous occasion. I am Julie Kushner. I'm a UAW Region 9A Director, and I'm also co-chair of the Working Families Party. And we're here today uh, on behalf of the Working Families Party to make a, a, an endorsement in the uh, Senate race here, the U.S. Senate race in Connecticut. And this is going to be a tremendous endorsement. We have great enthusiasm because we have a candidate for this race that we can know we can depend on. We have a candidate who's already been there for us year after year fighting for working families. So we're very proud today to announce our endorsement of Chris Murphy for U.S. Senate. I happen to be privileged to live in the 5th Congressional District, so I know that I've had a congressman for many, many years who has fought for our issues, who's talked so strongly about the need to create jobs and bring jobs back to our state. And he's going to be an advocate there, and he's going to be a fighter. So we're very proud to make this endorsement on behalf of the 100,000 working men and women affiliated through their unions to the Working Families Party. And we know that when we speak with one voice, we're going to have like Chris Murphy is going to be a guy there that speaks just like us. So we're very excited about this endorsement. And I'm going to call on a couple of people to say a few words about our candidate before we introduce him. So first I want to call on Dave Roach from the Connecticut Building Trades. All the sisters, thanks for coming. You know, this is a no-brainer. What, what, what a better fit than to have the Working Families Party endorsing uh, Congressman Murphy for Senator. That, that's what he's about. He cares about working families. So this endorsement is really great. We were just having a conversation earlier. You know, he understands that there's people out there that are living in their cars and people out there that are in jeopardy of losing their homes. And he's been a fighter to get against them kind of things right along. And we were just talking how important this unemployment extension is going to be. But so many people are going to lose unemployment at the end of this year. You know, that's not a Christmas present. We need to, we need to pass that and give them something back that they deserve because people want to work. It's not that these people are out there that don't want to work. They want to work. There's just nothing there. And we're going to get jobs back because of people like Congressman Murphy. He's done a great job for labor. He'll continue to do it. He'll be a great senator. And I'm proud to say that he's a friend of mine, then we've known each other for a few years now, and I, I couldn't be more proud to stand here today and have him have this endorsement from the working families go to Congressman Chris Murphy for U.S. Senate. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. And as Dave just said, there's so many people that are out of work today, and we know that Congressman Murphy is here today because unfortunately they're not in session where they should be taking up the cause of unemployment and the payroll tax deduction. So we know that he's only here today and he's ready to fly back at any moment to serve our members and our people of the state of Connecticut. So I want to call on UAW, by the way, was one of the first endorsers of our, Senate, of our congressman, soon to be senator. But I also have to say it's so proud to be here with the Connecticut Carpenters, who are also on board with Chris Murphy. And I'd like to call on Bruce Lightham from the Connecticut Carpenters. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Working Families Party today for this invite. It's an honor to stand on the steps of our capital with Chris Murphy, the candidate for U.S. Senate. Working class families today are struggling to make a decent living and to provide for their families. Chris Murphy understands day to day the struggles that they face. It is my belief that as Chris, Chris Murphy travels the state of Connecticut, you will have an opportunity to get to know him and you'll learn that he has the tools, the vision, and the passion to work hard for you. There's no doubt in my mind when Chris Murphy is elected, he will hit the floor of the U.S. Senate running from day one, putting working class families first. It is time to send someone to the U.S. Senate that was not from the Millionaires Club. They don't understand the struggles of working class people. Chris Murphy does. Let's send Chris Murphy to the U.S. Senate so he can help to restore and rebuild the middle class. Thank you. It's now my great honor to introduce to you, with your help, Connecticut's next U.S. Senator, Chris Murphy.
Well, thank you very much uh, to Bruce, to Dave, to Julie, to John, to uh, all of the leadership of the Working Families Party, to your 100,000 plus members throughout this state. Um, uh, let me tell you uh, how much this means to me personally. Uh, you know, I, I'm standing here because of this country's commitment to working families. I'm standing here because my great-grandfather came over here, a Polish immigrant, to New Britain, Connecticut, and he found a job at Fafner Baring. And his son, my grandfather, got to work in that plant as well. And they raised a daughter who got to be the first woman in her family to go to college because she had an income in her family derived from a good working class job. And she got to raise a son who was taught to believe that I could do anything that I wanted uh, in this world. The problem is that that reality that met my great grandfather when he came to this country, which was the foundation of the community that my mother grew up in in New Britain is disappearing every day. We have less and less good jobs out there, less and less living wages available, and more and more people slipping in to poverty today. This is what the Working Families Party is all about. It's about getting a fair deal for those people so that we can get back to that American dream that in essence is the reason why I'm standing here today. So first and foremost, this endorsement is so important to me because of the, the moral power behind it. And you speak for the, not just your 100,000 members, but the millions of Americans who are getting screwed by the economy as we know it today. You speak for the millions of Americans who have watched their wages remain flat over the last 30 years, while the wages of the top 1% of Americans have increased 300%. You've watched as millions of Americans have lost health care and lost pension benefits. Uh, and you've decided to stand up as labor unions, as working families to say enough is enough. And uh, I couldn't be more grateful for the moral power of your endorsement and what it means to this campaign. But I also know that there's political power behind your endorsement. We've seen it in uh, some of the most recent elections in this state. I'm one of the beneficiaries of it. In 2006, when very few people gave me a chance to beat Nancy Johnson, the Working Families Party stood with me, went out there and organized, uh, and was one of our loudest voices. The margin uh, on the Working Families Party line in the congressional race in the second district in 2006, in the gubernatorial race in 2010, uh, made the difference. Uh, and uh, I know that first and foremost what comes with this endorsement is the moral authority of your members and of your cause, but there is certainly also great political power in the choice that you made here today. And you couldn't be making it, we couldn't be standing here today at a more important moment. Uh, Julie's right. I should be, and 434 other members of the House of Representatives should be in Washington right now. Because as Dave and I were talking about, the reality is, is that on Christmas morning, millions of Americans are going to wake up in homeless shelters, out on the streets, in their cars and in their trucks. And there is an utter indifference to their plight amongst Republicans in the House of Representatives. They're sitting home getting ready for Christmas dinner as half of Dave Roach's members and the sheet metal workers and likely similar percentages of the construction trades throughout this state are gonna lose their unemployment benefits on January 1st. And th that's not just a theoretical exercise, losing your unemployment benefits. For people that are living hand to mouth, paycheck to paycheck, meal to meal, do you lose your unemployment benefits for one week, two weeks, three weeks? That's life changing. That's the reality happening out there today. Uh, I want to be back in Washington today speaking for your members, speaking for all of the people in this state who need some help during these tough times. And you better believe that the foundation of this campaign is going to be the message that the Working Families Party has brought to this state over the last decade. We are in a fight for the ex future existence of the middle class right now. We are going to make a decision in Washington, D.C. over the next five to ten years as to whether we want a middle class in this country or whether we're just going to recede into a world with 95% have-nots and 5% haves. 
That's our choice to make. It is not inevitable. There are things that we can do to make working families strong again, strong in the way they were when my grandfather was working for Fafner Baring in New Britain. That's my mission as a member of Congress today, uh, as a U.S. Senator in the future, and it's going to be the message that I'm going to bring to every corner of this state with the Working Families Party standing right behind me over the next 11 months. Uh, thank you so much for this endorsement. I look forward to waging one of the most important fights we will ever be a part of over the next year. Thank you very much, everyone. We're, look we're looking forward to the election. Uh, it couldn't happen too soon for us because we want to send Chris Murphy to Washington, D.C. as our senator to fight the fight on behalf of working families. So we're here to take questions. If anybody has a question, would like to pose a question to us or to the candidate. Uh, if not, then I'm sure you'll all uh, agree with me 